Hello everybody. In this video, we will solve a problem based on projection of solids. A, pro a problem based on hexagonal pyramid. The question is, a he hexagonal pyramid of base 25 mm and axis length 60 mm is resting on ground on one of its base edges with the triangular face containing that base edges parallel to VP and 10 mm away from it. Draw, draw the projections. So here is a hexagonal pyramid of base 25 mm and height 60 mm. It is resting on one of its base edges with the triangular face containing that base edges parallel to VP. So here, now since the object is resting on one, one of its base edges, you start a hexagon with a base edge on the right side perpendicular like this. So AB, the line AB is of length 25 mm and it right side with, uh, with perpendicular, okay. So AB is perpendicular to reference line. So you can draw that line, then you can take 120 degrees from this point B and you can come, uh, you can draw the line BC at 25 mm. Again from C, 120 degrees included angle and 25 mm you can get the point D. So in that way you can come Now to get the apex, you just draw the uh, lines from, uh, you join these opposite corners, you can get apex. Now project all these points B, C, D and apex also to this line. Then you can mark the height of the object which is 60 mm. Okay. So you can get that point O dash also. Now you, you already got this, you projected all these points here. So you can get that uh, triangle as a front view. Now after drawing the front view and top view, uh, you, you are naming these points A, B, this second as A, B, C, D, E, F and here front view this point is A dash, B dash and uh, this point is F dash, C dash and this is E dash, D dash. Now after drawing this front view, uh, you, you have to measure this distance O dash, A dash, okay. So that distance this distance you have to measure and that distance is coming 64 mm and also you measure this distance distance from here to here that is 43 mm and also this included angle from here to here what is that? It's coming at 70 degrees now what you have to do is you have to make this line O dash A dash perpendicular so a line from here you are just drawing a line from here at 64 mm perpendicular line 64 mm like this so you are drawing this line a o dash a dash perpendicular like this okay you keep some distance and o dash a dash you are drawing uh, same 64 mm line you are drawing here now you have to draw one more line like this okay and that is uh, 64 m 64 43 mm long at 70 degrees so a line from here You can get that line okay now from that point you can draw that line and complete the hexagon the uh, friendly view of the hexagon that is that triangle okay now you draw one more line from this midpoint to that apex you can get that line you can draw the friendly view of that object now we will name this as this is a1 b1 dash This is F1 dash, C1 dash, and this point as E1 dash, D1 dash, okay, and this one as O1 dash. You got All these points now to get the next diagram you have to just draw the projection line four corners okay from all these points you have to draw the projection lines
Now we will drop all these points to the corresponding projection line. A line from here to this line and then one more line from here to this line and one more line from here to this line from here to this line so you got those lines now you just connect this by using straight lines okay you have this point here to here like this you can connect and you can get the front top view of the tilted position okay now at this point you have this the here this is the O and you have you have to connect all these corners to that O okay here this midpoint is O okay so you have one more line from here to that midpoint here one more line from here to that point so you got you got that top view of that tilted position now we'll name these points as this is O1 and then this is B1 this is A1 A1 then you have this is B1 then C1 then this is D1 this E1 this is one more F1 so you got all the points like this now what you have to do is you have to copy this diagram here parallel to this axis so that first I'll just copy it and I'll explain how to draw this diagram here okay so we will just copy all this Now we will do one thing a line from here. You have to draw this line at 10 mm. Okay. Okay. Now you have to mark the dimension here and you have to draw this line here like this. Okay. So we will just, you have to copy this diagram. Like this. Okay. Now we will just uh, move this. Now what you have to do is so basically you have to rotate this diagram at 90 degrees okay so that this edge will become parallel so first you mark a line at uh, you mark that 10 mm away from here okay then you draw that this then first you draw uh, mark draw a line at here like this then you draw this line like this okay like this okay then from that point you measure this dimension and this dimension here like this okay that dimension you have to draw okay you are drawing this line okay so on that line you have to draw so First you mark a point here on this line and you mark an mm away 
okay then you draw that this a b a 1 b 1 on that line okay then from there you measure this dimension okay distance from here to here and from here to here and mark the dimension here and here okay now from this point you mark this dimension and this dimension towards left and right okay so this dimension from distance from here to here that is from this o to c okay shortest distance distance from o to c you mark from here to here okay and from here to here again from this point to d you mark the dimension this side and this side you can get so you can connect that and you can get this top view of that object okay so basically you are just turning it 90 degrees then we will name these points O1, O2, 2, this is A2, this is F2, this is E2, this is D2. And this is C2. We got all the points. Okay, now you have to draw the projection lines from here. Just draw projection lines from this point like this. From here also. Like this. One more line from here. You can get all those points like this now you just project all these points to that corresponding projection lines okay now you just pro uh, drop those lines to that uh, projection lines you can get this required points draw projection lines from this point to the corresponding line here okay corresponding projection line there all these points to the corresponding projection lines you can get the all the all the six points from here to here Now you just connect this by straight lines. Now we have these two lines are invisible lines so those lines you have to mark it as dotted line okay so then you have a line from here to midpoint to that line center so that is the reference line that is the axis of the object so you have to draw that also and that also you have to use that chain line to represent that the points are here you have this is O1 dash this is O1 dash O2 dash okay then you have so this is this is this is O2 dash O2 dash 
then here you have this is a2 dash then here you have b2 dash this is this is b2 dash that is b2 dash then you have c2 dash this is c2 dash then you have d2 dash d2 dash and then you have e2 dash and o2 dash e2 dash okay so in that way you can get the here you have f2 dash also and what f2 dash is this one this is f2 dash so you can get all those points Hope you understood this problem how to solve this question. Thank you very much for listening to this video. Thank you very much.